okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question welcome to my youtube channel and please don't forget to subscribe this okay so the mass m attached to a string of the length capital r moves in a vertical circle okay with a constant speed okay it's moving in a vertical circle with constant speed the tension in the string at the top of the circle is capital T. What is the kinetic energy of the mass at the top of the circle? Fine. So let us say uh, the bob or the mass is rotating like this and it has reached the top. So we have to see what are the total number of forces that are acting on the mass and how are they acting. So first of all, there will be a centrifugal force here. And there will be a weight downwards, so that will be taken as mg. And there will be tension in the string that will be shown like this. So this is the tension in the string. So here is the catch now. I have, I have shown the centrifugal force. And in many um, countries, I have seen in many classrooms, uh, they are not using centrifugal force. Instead, they are using centripetal force. So might be that your teacher in your school uh, they have uh, taught you by using centripetal force. So uh, in that case, we will not be showing this and we will say we will say that the total force here that is T plus mg will be equal to the centripetal force. Now the centripetal force will be mv square by r. Now the same equation can be found if we are using the concept of centrifugal force which is far more easier to understand although because like if there is an upward force, only then there will be tension in the string, first of all. So if FCF is more, it has to be more because otherwise that there will be no tension, minus mg, it will be the net upward force which is being balanced by the tension. So overall, the equations are typically same. So do not get confused. If you want to use the centrifugal formula, you can. If you want to use the concept of centripetal force, you can. So it's your wish. But at the end of the day, we are getting the same equations. So now we need to find, uh, what do we need to find? Yeah, kinetic energy. So we are going to substitute this mv square by r here. Either you call it centripetal or centrifugal. One is the same thing because magnitude is the same. So this is mg is equal to t. So it becomes mv square by r is equal to t plus mg. Now, I want to find the kinetic energy of the mass and which will be given by half mv square. So yes, mv square is here. So I need to divide it, divide the complete equation by 2. So first of all, I'm multiplying this by half and I'm dividing this by 2. And I take this r to the other side by cross multiplication. So this thing became kinetic energy is equal to just a moment, please. Yeah, kinetic energy that is half mv square is equal to half of t plus mg into r. And when we see, yes, a is the first option that meets uh, with the answer that we have got. So this is how we do the questions of uh, vertical circle. Dear students, please take it as a question, caution because the vertical circle is completely different from horizontal circle. So the formulations are different. The concept is different. And there are many types of vertical circle problems. So if you find any other problem of this kind, please do send me the questions on my WhatsApp. And I would be putting all the solutions on the YouTube. So with this, this is Professor Varun. All the best. Bye. And please do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. All the best.